In the first half of the 1880s, Edgar Degas did a very famous series of works that represent women at Les Modistes, or the, uh, the milliner's shop, where women went to buy hats, mostly, also gloves, and other small items of accessories and small items of clothing, but mainly in Degas' depictions you see them trying on hats. In other words, they're actively engaged in the making a choice of which one they're going to purchase. This one is the same uh, as, as those others. You can see that the client is the woman with her back to us here, dressed in green, and she's trying on a mostly white hat and observing herself in a fully mirror. That's this structure here, and she's looking at herself. And of course, what seems so curious to us in this picture is that Degas has omitted her face. There is underpainting, and so certainly he could have given her features, but for reasons that we don't know, there are no facial features depicted. Making it a kind of anonymous, a rather strange work in terms of its personality or lack of personality. Also curious, are the forms that you see here on the right-hand side of the composition because you quickly realize that these are these are two hands, right hand here, a left hand here, and these are obviously the hands of the modiste herself, of the milliner, the hat maker. She's holding a hat in her hand and with her right hand, she, with her left hand, she's holding the hat with her right hand. She's like plucking or pulling on the probably feathers, they might have been ribbons, but they probably, but they might also have been ribbons. But it's very strange the way that that detail is kind of inserted into the composition and cropped in this way. And this, of course, is the, an example of the heritage of both Japanese prints as well as the new art of photography and its influence on the Impressionists. They included details like that which seemed to be fleeting because it imparted the sense of action and of, of of time passing by before your eyes, which was very meaningful to them in the way that they conceived their art. This remarkably beautiful picture is a portrait of Claude Monet's wife, Camille painted in 1873 when they were living at Argentoy. This is a suburb not far from the center of Paris to the north and west a little ways where he was able to rent a house much more cheaply than he could in the center of the city. They were so desperately poor at the time, he really had never sold any works yet in his career that they had no option but to find someplace less expensive. So what is going on here is that she is standing in the doorway with the big shutter-like doors open. She's looking out into her garden with fuchsias and begonias and other potted plants and even flowering trees and so forth. And Monet is looking back in at her, rather carefully framed between the vertical elements on the right and on the left. It demonstrates his commitment to working on plein air, meaning out of doors, in the natural sunlight, and incorporating the elements of the natural world, particularly the, particularly the beautifully planted flowers and shrubs, into his works.